Hi learners, I'm back. I told you we'll see each other again. Today, we will continue our discussion and we will focus on the steps in writing an argumentative essay. Can't wait to share it with you. Let's start prepping you up. Our session today will still delve on this most essential learning competency. Compose an argumentative essay. Like what I told you last meeting, we will try our best to accomplish these specific learning objectives in the continuation of our lesson today. Use words and expressions that affirm or negate, identify parts and features of argumentative essays, and use patterns and techniques of developing an argumentative essay. We will continue on utilizing the module on how to outline an argumentative essay in four steps. Before we go on with our lesson, I know that you're already aware of the do's and don'ts in our virtual classroom, but I'd like to remind you again, don't forget to be polite, avoid unnecessary comments, and remember to think before you click. You can ask questions or clarification that are related to our lesson. Just take note of them, and I would be glad to address your queries later after the discussion in the question and answer part. Now, I'd like to know where are my learners coming from. So please key in the word present, your section, and the name of your school for the attendance for us to monitor the number of active learners I have now online. In our previous episode, you learned that an argumentative essay attempts to convince a reader to agree with a particular argument, the writer's thesis statement. The writer takes a firm stand one way or another on a topic and then uses hard evidence to support that stance. An argumentative essay seeks to prove to the reader that one argument, the writer's argument, is the factuality and logically correct one. This means that an argumentative essay must use only evidence-based support to back up a claim rather than emotional or philosophical reasoning, which is often allowed in other types of essays. Thus, an argumentative essay has a burden of substantiated proof and sources, whereas some other types of essays, namely persuasive essays, do not. We've also pointed out during the Q&A part that an argumentative essay is different from a persuasive essay. Argumentative and persuasive writing may, at first glance, seem to be one and the same. After all, both are intended to sway the readers into one point of view. You can write an argumentative essay on any topic so long as there's room for argument. Generally, you can use the same topics for both a persuasive essay or an argumentative one, so long as you support the argumentative essay with hard evidence. In our episode today, we will focus on how to outline an argumentative essay in four steps. Argumentative essays should have a straightforward structure so they are easy for readers to follow. The goal of an argumentative essay is to clearly outline a point of view, reasoning, and evidence. A good argumentative essay should follow this structure. Number one, introductory paragraph. The first paragraph of your essay should outline the topic, provide background information necessary to understand your argument, outline the evidence you will present, and state your thesis. Essay introduction basics. The essay introduction must accomplish two things. First, it must capture the reader's attention. And second, 
it must clearly introduce the topic. There are several methods to capturing the reader's attention depending on the audience. You can start with a quotation. One that sums up the essay would be nice. Definition. Use sparingly. Too many amateur writers use this method. Question. Ask a question in the introduction and answer it in the body. Present a problem. Pose a problem in the introduction and solve it in the body. A statistics. Make sure they're actual statistics and not something you made up. Comparison. Take something the reader is unfamiliar with and relate it to something they are familiar with. Or you can use metaphor or simile. An even more effective comparison for making the complex seem simple. Shocker! Everyone likes surprises. Unfortunately, it's getting harder to shock people. Summary. A brief summary piques reader interest. Anecdote. A short, humorous story relevant to the topic eases the reader into the material. And you can use an expert opinion. An expert gives you instant credibility with the reader. Second, the thesis statement. This is part of your first paragraph. It is a concise, one-sentence summary of your main point and claim. The thesis statement, sometimes just called the thesis, is the backbone of your argument, the North Star that keeps you oriented as you develop your main points. The well, you get the idea. In more concrete terms, a thesis statement conveys your point of view on your topic, usually in one sentence toward the end of your introduction paragraph. It's very important that you state your point of view in your thesis statement in an argumentative way. In other words, it should state a point of view that is debatable. And since your thesis statement is going to present your argument on the topic, it's the thing that you'll spend the rest of your argumentative paper defending. That's where persuasion comes in. Your thesis statement tells your reader what your argument is, then the rest of your essay shows and explains why your argument is logical. Number three on our step is the body paragraphs. A typical argumentative essay comprises three or more paragraphs that explain the reasons why you support your thesis. Each body paragraph should cover a different idea or piece of evidence and contain a topic sentence that clearly and concisely explains why the reader should agree with your position. Body paragraphs are where you back up your claims with examples, research, statistics, studies, and text citations. Address opposing points of view and disprove, disprove them or explain why you disagree with them. Presenting facts and considering a topic from every angle adds credibility and will help you gain a reader's trust. And the fourth step is conclusion. One paragraph that restates your thesis and summarizes all of the arguments made in your body paragraphs. Rather than introducing new facts or more arguments, a good conclusion will appeal to a reader's emotions. In some cases, writers will use a personal anecdote explaining how the topic personally affects them. To explain it further, an argumentative essay at its simplest structure 
will look like this. Paragraph 1. Intro. Set up the story, problem, or issue. Don't forget your thesis or your claim. Paragraph 2. Support. Reason number 1. Claim is correct. Supporting evidence with sources. Paragraph 3. Another support. Reason number 2. Claim is correct. Supporting evidence with sources. Paragraph 4. Counter argument. Explanation of argument for the other side. Refutation of opposing argument with supporting evidence. And finally, paragraph 5. Your conclusion. Restate your claim. Sum up reasons and support of claim from the essay to prove that your claim is correct. Paragraph 1. Set up and claim. Your first task is to introduce the reader to the topic at hand so they'll be prepared for your claim. Give a little background information, set the scene, and give the reader some stakes so that they care about the issue you're going to discuss. Next, you absolutely must have a position on an argument and make that position clear to the readers. It's not an argumentative essay unless you're arguing for a specific claim. And this claim will be your thesis statement. Your thesis cannot be a mere statement of fact. For example, the Department of Education is the executive department of the Philippine government responsible for ensuring access to, promoting equity in, and improving the quality of basic education. Your thesis must instead be an opinion which can be backed up with evidence and has the potential to be argued against. For example, DepEd should continue with their plan of extending the school year. Paragraph 2 and 3. Your evidence. These are your body paragraphs in which you give the reasons why your argument is the best one and back up this reasoning with concrete evidence. The argument supporting the thesis of an argumentative essay should be one that can be supported by facts and evidence rather than personal opinion or cultural or religious mores. In addition, to using concrete evidence, you always want to keep the tone of your essay passionate but impersonal. Even though you're writing your argument from a single opinion, don't use first-person language. I think, I feel, I believe to present your claims. Doing so is repetitive since by writing the essay, you're already telling the audience what you feel. The using first-person language weakens your writing voice. For example, I think that DepEd should continue with their plan of extending the school year to give learners time to accomplish class requirements versus DepEd should continue with their plan of extending the school year to give learners time to accomplish their class requirements. The second statement sounds far stronger and more analytical. Paragraph 4. Argument for the other side and refutation. Even without a counter-argument, you can make a pretty persuasive claim. But a counter-argument will round out your essay into one that is much more persuasive and substantial. By anticipating an argument against your claim and taking the initiative to counter it, 
you're allowing yourself to get ahead of the game. This way, you show that you've given great thought to all sides of the issue before choosing your position. And you demonstrate in multiple ways how yours is the more reasoned and supported side. Paragraph 5. Conclusion. This paragraph is where you restate your argument and summarize why it's the best claim. Briefly touch on your supporting evidence and voila, a finished argumentative essay. Follow this suggested structure and writing your argumentative essay will be a piece of cake. To wrap up our session, our four step takeaway are Step 1. Write an introductory paragraph that provides background information necessary to understand your argument. Step 2. Provide a thesis statement that conveys your point of view on your topic, usually in one sentence toward the end of your introduction. Step 3. Compose the body paragraphs three or more paragraphs that explain the reasons why you support your thesis. And step four, end with a conclusion that restates your thesis and summarizes all of the arguments made in your body paragraphs. For your queries and clarifications, just simply type your questions if there is any on the comment section and I will try my very best to address them. You have a minute to send us your questions and our teacher moderator will be gathering them. I will be right back after 60 seconds. time is up, I will now be reading the questions you have posted in the comment section. Thank you to our teacher moderator for gathering the questions. The questions which will not be addressed today will be discussed and answered by your subject teacher in the follow-up discussion. Question number one is from Genti de Leon, National High. Why does an argumentative essay need a thesis? Well, the thesis statement, the sentence with your main claim, is actually the entire point of an argumentative essay. If you don't clearly state an arguable claim at the beginning of your paper, then it's not an argumentative essay. No thesis statement, no argumentative essay. Got it? Next question is from Malandai National High. Is research important for argumentative writing? Extensive research about a topic is an essential part of writing most argumentative essays. Essential for the majority of effective arguments, you can find evidence most readily through internet content, essays, and scientific studies. Research can also generate insights that would not have otherwise occurred.
especially when you disagree with the author of an article and build a counter argument. Finally, a query from the Imperiales National High. What should I avoid in writing argumentative essays? There are things that you should not be doing in writing argumentative essays. And here are the don'ts that you should be aware of. Number one, don't preface a statement with phrases such as, I believe or I think. These expressions only serve to weaken the statement. It's akin to an apology for your opinion. Unless you are quoting or paraphrasing, it's a given you believe or think something. Instead of, I think that quality education should be free for all, revise to, quality education should be free for all. See how much stronger and emphatic the second sample is? Number two, don't signpost. Signposting refers to directional signs in your writing that tell the audience what you just said or what you will say. This might be required in speech class, but it's not necessary in written papers. Avoid telling your audience what you previously said or what you will say. Just say it. Number three, don't use inflated phrases. When writing an essay, students often think they have to take on a voice of authority and they believe they need to use wordy constructions to sound academic. When all it does, it sounds pretentious. Wordy, inflated phrases are also confusing to read. Use your own voice and eliminate wordiness. And finally, don't slack on the conclusion. A common response on student paper is, ends abruptly. Often, students concentrate so intently on building the body of a research paper or essay and incorporating sources that they overlook the importance of a strong conclusion. Is that clear? Great. Thank you learners for posting your questions. Continue on answering your module. Read the instructions carefully. You can watch the replay if you want to look at the important points of today's discussion. Ask help to your parent or guardian whenever necessary. Enjoy the process of learning. Your English teachers will be checking on your progress in your follow-up discussion via Facebook Messenger, Microsoft Teams, or Google Meet. They will be there ready to elaborate and explain further if you miss something and they will help you process your outputs in each activity of the module. I am Sir Noelita Reyes, your live streaming teacher. Thank you for watching. Tune in again in our next Valenzuela Live. Let me leave you this quote from Harlan Ellison. You are not entitled to your opinion. You are entitled to your informed opinion. No one is entitled to be ignorant. Stay home, stay safe. God bless everyone. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.